So today I'm going to test my water um, by this kit I bought. Uh, it's a water safe uh, city water test. Um, and um, it basically tests lead, chlorine, uh, nitrate, bacteria, pesticides, hardness of the water, and the pH level of the water. So I'm going to test between my uh, filtered water, reverse osmosis filtered water, and my regular water from the city. So this valve right here, this is for the bacteria test. And of course we can see right here this is the pesticide and lead test. And this strip right here, this is for the nitrate. And this test right here is to test the pH and total hardness of the water. The first test I will do is the uh, bacteria test. According to the instructions, I'm going to take out the bacteria test valve and set it straight up on a flat surface. Uh, collect water sample on tap to a very slow stream. And I want to fill it all the way up to the 5 millimeter line. Do not overfill. Put back the cap on. Shake the valve for 20 seconds. Then let it sit for 48 hours. So here's the bacteria uh, test. The instruction says to fill it up to the 5 millimeter line or half an inch from the top. Um, it's kind of hard to see it, so I just wrote it on there. And I'm going to fill this one with tap water. I'm going to fill this one with uh, reverse osmosis filtered water. So I've allowed the water to run for about 30 something seconds. Kind of my way to purge the water a little bit. I'm going to fill this up. Okay. And I'm going to shake it. All right, that's more than 20 seconds. So the bacteria test, as you can see, I underfilled a little bit by for a city uh, tap water, and I overfilled a little bit for the uh, uh, the reverse osmosis. But I, I think that should be fine. As you can see, it starts out as purple, and I need to wait 48 hours. So 48 hours later, I'll see what the color turns to. So as you can see, after 48 hours, um, both of them are still purple. They didn't turn yellow, so uh, no bacteria. So to my left, I have a sample of uh, tap water, and to my right, I have a sample of uh, the reverse osmosis water, the filtered water. And now I'm going to do the lead and uh, pesticide tests. Um, and the instructions basically says, uh, uh, extract two dropper folds. So squeeze this completely and then release right. and then squeeze it again. That's one. Okay. And then here we go. That's two. Okay. And it says, shake this around for a couple of seconds. I think that's enough. And then take these two strips and point it downwards. So there's a yellow and there's a blue strip right there. And I'm going to have them point downwards and put them in the water. So place both test strips into the water into the test valve with the arrows pointing down and I want to wait 10 minutes. So I did it for the uh, uh, reverse osmosis water as well too. Um, since I'm going to be waiting for 10 minutes I'm going to go ahead and do the nitrate test. So for this one it's pretty simple. Um, open it up. Take the strip out. And it says I want to immer immerse it for two seconds, then remove it and wait for one minute. So I'm going to immerse it in two, two seconds. And I'm going to do the same for this. And I'm going to wait for one minute. All right, so one minute has left, and according to this chart, both of them are zero 
nitrate. Alright, so as you can see right here, it's a zero level for both both waters. So next test is the hardness. I am going to open it up. And then I want to first test the city. It says uh, immerse it in the pad. I mean, immerse the pad into water and remove immediately. Hold strip level for 15 seconds. So, remove immediately. Hold it for 15 seconds. All right, that's 15 seconds right there. For city water, it looks like the pH is 7.5, and then the hardness is 120 to 250, and finally chlorine is zero. So let's test the reverse osmosis. Alright, that's 15 seconds. And it looks like, again, pH 7.5. Hardness close to between 0 and 50. And again, chlorine is 0. So it's been 10 minutes. Let's take this out. And then, according to this, so as you can see that um, the yellow is obviously at 1 and the blue is also at 1 for the city water which means that both of them are negative um, because it only has to be darker than the right line and for the reverse osmosis and that's also the same it's both on the left side so both of them don't have lead or pesticide finally um, I'm gonna use the TDS uh, this is a uh, total dissolved solids and in the city Earlier we tested the hardness of it. Right here it says it's 166. So as you can see it says 166. And then the reverse osmosis says 17. Now it's been almost six months since I replaced the filter so it's about time to place a, replace the filter. Normally after I replace it it goes all the way down to five. 